Hey there, Silver Stackers. Welcome back to DSCC Stack and Silver. What we have here is a package I just got in the mail. I believe this package is going to have 50 Morgans in it. I went ahead and picked up a lot of 50 Morgans. They were, you know, average circulation. Some could be culls, some could be better than, you know, regular good. I have no idea what they're really going to look like, what kinds are in here, what years, if there are any mints, no, you know, other than like San Francisco or New Orleans, we could only hope for a Carson C. But uh, I got no idea what's really, really in here and what's going what's gonna to come out of this package. So let's get to it. Let's open up this package, see what's in here. And then I can start sorting if I can get this open even. All right, let's see here. Ah, more packaging, more wrapping. At least they wrapped it well, right? All right, here is an invoice. I'll show you that at the end to show you how much I paid for them. And we have another bag. Let's go ahead and uh, cut this one open too. Look at that. You guys see this just as I am seeing it. Eww. All right. Getting there. Almost there. And there is another box. Well, at least they wrapped them up nicely, right? Well, let's open this. The trusty scissors, cut that tape. All right, that side's open. This side's open. And uh, how do I open it? Wow, this is exciting stuff, isn't it? Great YouTube material. Oh, look, more tape. Huh. All right, a little more tape here. And more tape. And more tape. Come on. Let's get this. Almost. Oh, I apologize. I should edit this. I even hit the camera. And... Oh, my goodness. There we go. Finally. Sorry about that. Oh, look at that. Gave me some holders. Very nice of them. Some more holders. Very nice of them packaging I've got some Morgans and I've got some more Morgans Morgans hopefully they're 25 in each roll I'm guessing that's why they're taped because they don't fit more than that all right join me in a second as I cut the tape off of these and we'll start searching through and seeing what we got all right back in a second all right, so I'm about to go through the 50 Morgans I just got through opening. There's one roll of 25. There's another roll of 25. For any of you who don't want to watch me going through 50 of them, I'll probably uh, shoot you down to the description down below, which will give you a timeline as to where you can go in this video so you can just see the results at the end of what we got by each year. All right? For everybody else who wants to go through this with me, I'm going to take them, undo them, and let's see what we got one by one. All right, first one up is a 21. Looks to be like a Philly. Next one up is an 89 New Orleans. Next one, sorry I keep doing these upside down, is an 1890 New Orleans, I believe. All right, next one up is a, what we got here? Eighteen eighty six. New Orleans. 
That one's just a little, I think, the 86 New Orleans is a little slightly better and good than the rest of them. Here we've got an 86. Philly. Next one up. A 1900. New Orleans. Well, this is a Philly. No, I'm sorry. That's a Denver, which means it's got to be a 21. There we go. 21 Denver. Next up, another 21 Philly. In 1882, Philly. What's next here? Ooh, a well loved 1889, Philly. Next up. An 84 Philly. Here we got a 21 Philly. An 01 New Orleans. In 1881, Philly. Here we have another 21, Denver. In 1882, Philly. Eighteen ninety one, Philly, eighteen ninety nine, New Orleans, twenty one. Philly, flip her around, sorry, a 1900, Philly, eighteen eighty nine, Philly, Eighteen eighty nine, Philly, eighteen eighty five, New Orleans, very cool, nineteen oh one. New Orleans. And the last one from this tube of 25 is a 1900 New Orleans. All right. I'll be back in a second with the next 25. Okay, let's get started on the second tube of 25. Let's all go over. Let's begin. First up is an 1886 New Orleans. 
Next up is a 21. Billy. Then I've got a 21. Billy. Another 21. Denver. In 1883. Billy. 1879. Billy. Here's a 21. Sam Fran. A 21. Billy. Eighteen. Eighty-nine. Billy. Eighteen eighty. New Orleans. Eighteen eighty New Orleans. Here's a twenty one. Billy. Eighteen eighty five Billy Here's a twenty one Sam Fran Another twenty one Denver. And yet another 21. Same friend. There's a 21. Denver. Eighteen eighty nine. Billy. Eighteen eighty six. New Orleans. I think that's our second eighty six New Orleans. Again, in good. It's worth a little bit more, like three or four bucks more than the regulars are. Eighteen eighty four Philly eighteen eighty five. Philly, we have an eighteen eighty one with a little uh, carved in star or something there. Sam Fran, eighteen eighty one, Sam Fran. Eighteen eighty nine. Billy. Eighteen 
1882. Billy. The Ultimate Morgan is a 1900 New Orleans. And the last Morgan out of these 50 is an 89 Philly. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, sort these by year mint, and when I come back, show you everything we got, show you why I paid for, and what the book value is for the coins we searched through today. Here are the results from the 50 Morgans I went through that I purchased. I got a 79 Philly, an 80 Philly, 81, I got Philly in the San Fran, 82, I got three Phillies, 83, I got a Philly. 84, I got two Phillies. 85, I got two Phillies and a New Orleans. 86, I got a Philly and three New Orleans. 89, I got seven Phillies and a New Orleans. 90, New Orleans, one time. 91, one Philly. 99, a New Orleans. 1900, I got one Philly, three New Orleans. 01, I got two New Orleans. And then for 21, I got six Philly, seven Denver, and three San Fran's. I'm going to show you the receipt that I got here. Uh, let's see if you guys can see it. So, for the 50 Morgans, I ended up paying, with shipping, $1,505.50. Well, if I just go ahead and put these all at just about a, let's give them a G, not A G, not very good. Some are very good. Some might even be up to fine, but I'm going to give just the average price as being good condition. That means I'm coming up with a total of 1808.50. Most of them averaged $37.50 in book value. The highest were those 86 New Orleans, which were at 42. And then for the 21s, I put those in average value of 32.50. So again, I paid 15, sorry, my eyes are bad, 15.09.45. And I've got a value right around 1808.50. So it looks like it came out about 300 bucks a head. Not bad. I'm kind of happy with that. Again, these are meant just to go in the stacks that I have. Or, you know, if I have any friends that need something to fill something in or someone wants to get started, like I could do a 1880s run there for a start with the Phillies. You know, I could give them an... 80 Philly, 81 Philly, 82 Philly, 83 Philly, 84 Philly, 85 Philly, 86 Philly, and 89 Philly. And that could be a nice little starter set for someone getting interested in Morgans and not that huge of a cost. If I gave it to them at book or even a little under. Remember, uh, sometimes we're doing this so that other people get excited about coin collecting too. It's not always just about making cash and stacking. It's about getting other people involved in the hobby. I appreciate you guys. For those of you, I appreciate all of you, but for those of you who um, watch me go through all 50, thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. For those of you who are here just for the beginning and the end, totally cool. No problem with that either. Sometimes I like going to the last chapter of the book too, see how it finishes before I even get going in it. Well, until the next episode of Stack and Silver, feel free to... Uh, Check out some of the episodes of the other series I have on DSCC. See if you can get into a little penny hunt or nickel hunt with the uh, buffaloes or something else. Or if you want to, just keep coming back for the Stack and Silver series. Until next time, everybody. This is me from DSCC wishing you good luck in your silver stacking adventures and in your coin collecting hobby. Later, everybody. Bye.